Scott Hastings joining us. He is the uh, color analyst for the Denver Nuggets, former NBA player, and uh, was there with the bad boys of, uh, well, 1990 Pistons. And uh, he was he, he was on the call when Victor went by, when Ben Yama uh, came to town the other night. And I figured uh, I'd bring you on so you could help us understand what that showdown was like. If you were going to describe Victor to somebody who hadn't seen him, how would you do it? Uh, can, can they have watched basketball within, within the last half century? Yeah. Okay. Um, a very, a very athletic and mobile Ralph Sampson. Okay. You know, he's, he's got the same length as Ralph. Um, I think, I think they pounded, of course it was a different era, <clears throat> but I think they pounded into Ralph's head that he had to be a big physical guy. Cause you remember he came out of Virginia he was slight, and they showed the pictures of him for the draft, lifting weights, and blah blah blah. But but and Victor's got to add some bulk, probably got to add add a little strength. But dude, his skill level is is off the charts. He's a beautiful guy, and and now I'm, this is pretends me and you. I'm talking a couple old basketball heads together, right? Yep. I I sat the last two times that that Denver's played him. And I wanted to just watch his pregame workout. And we've made a big deal about Steph's pregame workout over the years, the ball handling. Uh, I was impressed uh, for the notoriety this kid's gotten, for all the pub this kid's gotten, for, for all the stuff that's gotten him. A, I think with all that going on, it's great that he's with Pop, who has a way of keeping, you know, the humility in somebody. But his work ethic before a game, I, I was just blown blown away with Dan and I was impressed. I said, good. You mean we're going to have another superstar in this league that doesn't think he has to work at it. And so it, it was good to see he's very skilled. He's also seven, four. He's also not better than Joker. He's not. Not yet. And listen, Joe Joker's like that guy that, that, used to go to when I played I'd go play a pickup game you'd go to the Y and you'd watch these old guys that were you're you're my age right now and you're like joking <laughs> okay the next thing I know you're sweating up as much you do in a regular game and they're back picking you to death and they're doing all this stuff and I'm like you can't move how are you doing this they usually reply well you can't move either and you're stiff so but joke jo is there any chance he doesn't win MVP yeah, if, if if the if the big time media gets the agenda going, like you start you're starting to see kind of come out right now. They did it last year with Embiid, and it, listen, and, and I hate this discussion because you know this, Dan. When you're when you're talking MVPs, rightful MVP candidates, the only thing you could do is try to bust or diminish the other guy, and it wasn't fair. You're gonna tell me <clears throat> there's not a franchise alive. That if you're saying, okay, we're going to start a franchise with Embiid or Joker, for example, with the argument last year. If you got the second pick, did you lose? I mean, I mean you're gonna, it's, it's kind of like I used to have an argument with the guy one time when I first got in talk radio. And he goes, it, it was uh, Bird, Bird, Magic, or Jordan. Which one are you taking? I said, I'll draft three and be happy. But you, you, you can't lose. So I, I think there'll be an agenda and there'll be a push to make sure that we have something to talk about on the TV. Um, I've been doing this, Dan. I played 11 years. It's my 30th year broadcasting games. He's as good as anybody I've ever seen. And, and I, I don't throw that out cautiously. I did early on. And I've talked to guys like Isaiah Thomas and, and I've had conversations with Chauncey. Congratulations to Chauncey going into the hall of fame. Um, and they all say the same thing. Once you watch this guy play, it's, it's, it's not modern it's not, you know, I don't think he'll go on a G5 Gatorade commercial with his athleticism. Um, he's as if Magic Johnson and Larry Bird had a baby and Joker was born. <laughs> That's my comparison. Okay. Where is he? Is there a chance he could end up in the top 10 when he's all done? Yes. Yeah. Um, all time. All time, yes. And, and this, and it's, and I'm biased. I'm going to be the first one to sit there before you know the slings and arrows. I, I've, I've covered every one of his games. I've done every single game he's played in. 
I, I know the man also in in when he said after they won the championship, I thought it was going to be bigger than this, and he was just ready to get home. He was upset when they told him, "Well, no, you know, you got to stay another three or four days. There's a parade." Yeah, you know, you know that's that's him. He family is still is is like this to him. So yeah, but I don't see how he. Who would you take out of the top ten? Let let's say he adds another title and he's going to have three MVPs. Let let's say he's got. Five MVPs and maybe another title. Are you taking Duncan out, Magic, Bird, West, Kareem, Shaq? Well, Jordan, can, can we get Bill Russell, Wilt? <laughs> I mean, isn't that what happens? Every generation goes by. And we, I mean, do, do you know who no one ever talks about anymore? Kareem. It, just, it baffles me as Wilt. Oh, yeah. Well, this is what I don't understand is Wilt is Babe Ruth to the NBA, but we recognize, acknowledge Babe. We don't do that for Wilt. We are like, oh, yeah, but who was he playing against? Well, okay. We don't do that to Babe, but we do that to Wilt Chamberlain, which is not you know fair to him. He dominated when he played. That's all you can right. ask for. And, and if you want to talk an athlete, just go look at what he did in college, you know, with, with the running and everything else. Track so and field. Yeah. One of my all time favorites. I, I don't know. You know, I don't know if that, it, it's like, it's like, it's like the, the, the top 10 or the greatest 10 of all time. It, it should just be 10 and then go, you know, one, a B, C, D, E, F, G, and then two. A, <laughs> no, because, it doesn't work that way. That's I, no I, fun. Dan, but Dan, you know, there's going to be a time they're they're going to Larry Bird's going to be out of this list, and and, and Magic Johnson's going to be out of this list. And for all of us, you know, grayheads who who played against those guys, saw a what they did to save the NBA, and 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 Dan, I, I don't even know my audience, you know, back in Denver on Altitude Radio, or. or I don't know if they realized the NBA was about to go away if it weren't for Magic and Bird. So I'm always going to have a place special for them. But but a kid who's 16 years old right now, and, and if he hasn't clicked on Larry Bird or Magic Johnson on YouTube, has no idea who the guy is. The guys that are going to fall on their swords for LeBron James, and that's a good sword to fall on. Didn't watch <laughs> Michael Jordan play. But, but do you think it, like Steph Curry is going to be a top 10 player of all time, correct? Is he? Ooh. I think Nikola Jokic is going to go walk his hands with Steph. Steph's going to have all the threes and all those records. He's one of the greatest shooters I've ever seen. Period. Period. He's he's he, he's a better shooter than anybody I've ever seen play. Okay. And so you know, put him up the top. You don't of that think list. he's a top ten player of all time well, when it's all said well, and done? What's your criteria? Well, I got to factor in winning. Uh, he changed right. the game. Yep. He changed the game. Yep. Magic changed the game. Kareem changed the game. Mike changed the game. Uh, Larry and Magic saved the game. Yep. Um, I mean, I didn't even mention Oscar Robertson or Jerry West. I mean, exactly. Jerry West is going into the Hall of Fame for three different things, and he's the logo. I mean, <laughs> that's that's a pretty good resume. But That's I, a pretty good argument for top ten of all time. Yeah, yeah. Well, is is uh, Kevin Durant going to be a top ten player of all time? Well, he, he, yeah, uh, he's one of my favorite players to watch play. I, I he's he's a smooth things go. But you know, I, I don't know. You know, the change the game thing is is such a great great conversation piece because listen, when Durant wants to defend, he can defend, but he doesn't necessarily want to all the time. I wouldn't call Steph Curry a top. 100 defender of all time. Joker doesn't have the quickness of lateral movement. He's not going to play above the rim to block shots. But that's why Michael ball. Jordan, if I look at offense and defensive resume, nine-time first team, all defense, and he won, what, 10 scoring titles? Yeah, something like that. Nobody, you, I mean, that's the best. No one does that. No, that's the best basketball player of all time. Yeah, and and and, and I, I tell everybody, he played in an era where you got to literally lay hands on him. Well, you guys did more than that. The bad boys. Yeah, I'm not talking. You know, we didn't pray for him. We didn't put hands on him. We were blessed when we were putting hands on him. <laughs> and, and, and he lived through that. 
So, yeah, listen, Joker has that. Yes, he has that ability to win. He's done. Here's what's going to hold him back. He's going to be he's got a chance. I'm afraid to be in that Barry Sanders type of run that after a while he goes, you know what? I, I miss my mom and dad. I, I, oh, I miss my country. I see that. Absolutely. Um, hey, I'm going to yeah. leave you with this. You can start your team with Bird or Magic. Oh, Lord. <laughs> well, Bird did knock me out of an NCAA tournament, so I, and then Magic beat him that year, so maybe I should go with Magic for getting revenge for me. Okay. But again, I'll take the second pick and be very happy. <laughs> Great to talk to you again, buddy. Thank Good you. to see you, Dan. All right. That's Scott Hastings. He's uh, with Altitude Sports, the uh, Nuggets TV color analyst.